Hello everyone, and welcome to the Storytime with Billy channel, with me, Billy. How are you? Good! It's time for fun with phonics! Woo Today, we are going to learn another brand new phase 3 sound and see if we can spot it and read it in some words. Are you ready? Good! Let's do it! Let's have a look at all of the phase 3 sounds we've been learning so far and see if you can recognise them. Get ready, because you never know where they're going to pop out from. Ooh. Eee! Shh! I! <laughs> y! V! Z! Oo! Ah, j, x, ng, qu, o, a, <laughs> well done, o, ch, and last one, w, great work everybody. Drum roll, please. Ooh. Today we're going to learn another brand new sound. It's a digraph, which is two letters that want one sound. And it is... Or. Can you make that sound? Or. Or. And it's a digraph. Two letters that make one sound. And the letters that make this sound are O and R. That's the grapheme, the letters. But the phoneme, the sound it makes, or. Or. It's a short, bouncy sound. Or. Oh, 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 wicked, wicked, oh. Well done, everybody. Let's see if we can spot the or sound in some words. Let's get my green cards ready. Here we go. So, what's the digraph? Or, where is it? Ah, it's in the middle of the word. Or, let's put these sounds together. Or. Fork, fork, fork. When I eat my dinner, I use a knife and fork. Well done. Hmm. How many digraphs can you see in this word? There are two. What are they? Sh and or. Well done. Let's put these sounds together. Sh or t short. Short, short. The opposite of tall is short. Can you think of something that's short? Okay, what's the digraph? Oh, well done. Sp, ought, sport, sport, sport. I like sports. My favourite sport is basketball. What's your favourite sport? Okay, what's the digraph? Oh, there it is, O and R. Let's put these sounds together. Snort, 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 snort. What animal makes a snorting noise? A pig. Can you make a snorting noise? Snort. <laughs> Great reading, everybody. We've read some words that have the or sound in. Now, we're going to read some words that have the R digraph in that we learnt yesterday. Are you ready? Good. But remember, this time we're going to read the words in our head. Here we go. Look closely. Get ready. Sharp. Sharp. Be careful, those scissors are sharp. Star. Star. When you wish upon a star. Get ready. Part. Part. My favourite part of the film was... When the heroes won at the end, or I would like a part of that cake. Mm. 
Get ready. Hard. Hard. Oh, this maths is really hard. This wooden table is really hard. Great reading, everybody. So, we've read our or words, our R words. Now we're going to read our tricky words. These words that don't follow the rules of phonics, but we're going to see if we can recognize them and read them. Okay, we're going to go through them quite quickly today, so get ready. Here we go. They. My. All. Last one. You. Woo! Amazing reading, everybody. So, we've read our or words, our R words, our tricky words. Have I forgotten anything? What? Of course, our alien words are silly words. Those pesky words that follow the rules of phonics but aren't real words. So let's see if we can unscramble them. They all feature the or digraph. Let's put these sounds together. D org dog. <laughs> what a silly word. <laughs> Ch or p chop. <laughs> what a silly word. Woohoo! Amazing reading today, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Before I go, can you remember what digraph we learned today? Or. Well done. Can you think of any more words that have the or digraph in? Could you write them into a sentence? Maybe you could use a tricky word as well. Have a go and see if you can think of some words that have the or sound in. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I will see you again soon for more Fun with Phonics. Woohoo! Goodbye.